Hey, what's going on, Interbots? I am the Duke. This is the Binding of Isaac. Welcome to the chat room, or Draconis, Galen O'Reilly, Private Steve, Tivanez, and if he decides to pop back in, CMA6 Math. Um, let me type something into the chat room. Da 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 da. Enter. Really doesn't matter what I actually type. The only thing that matters is that I hear me pressing enter on the video because uh, because that's how I know at which point to actually sync it up. Where Draconis says it does matter. Well, you think it's something funny to type every single stream. Um, so in the last stream, I completed challenge number three, the uh, Large Marge, aka Big Bertha. And uh, after that, I attempted to beat the game with Samson, and I failed rather spectacularly. Uh, you'll be happy to know that I finally beat uh, It Lives with Samson. Uh, I wasn't streaming at the time, but uh, but I did it. I pulled it off. Uh, welcome, Agent Rainer 96. And uh, I went on to the cathedral, which I really should have gone on to Sheol, because I want to do all the cathedral runs on stream if possible. Well, I already missed a couple, but I'd like to do the rest of them on stream. But I died in the cathedral. So, uh, I'll save that for another day. For now, I will go on ahead and move on to the next challenge, Nine Deaths. Now, the Nine Lives is actually an item that I picked up in a recent playthrough. And uh, what it does is it reduces you to one heart, no matter how many hearts you have. But, you have nine chances to be resurrected if you die. So, it's kind of a handicap, but if you have very low amounts of health, then it's a blessing. Uh, since I'm starting as Isaac, I will have... Uh, one heart instead of three, but I can die nine times potentially and be resurrected. When Draconis says he'll be attempting this one along with me, awesome. It's nice to see uh, audience participation. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, get going. Oh yeah, the, that cat head hovers near you to indicate that you have nine lives. All right, and I am already almost dead. That's uh, how quickly things can turn when you're doing the nine live challenge. Cupid's arrow. Wow, I actually have not gotten this upgrade in quite a while. Uh, it makes your shots pierce through enemies, kind of like the spectral tears, uh, but instead of piercing through objects, they pierce enemies. If you can get both Cupid's arrow and the spectral tears, then you can shoot through just about anything. So, uh, for those of you who weren't in the Google Hangout on Friday, you, uh, you missed a pretty cool thing. And I'm dead already. But, uh, you respawn at the entrance to whatever room you're currently in. But yeah, um, it was me, Mors Draconis, Just Drop, Galen O'Reilly, uh, those last two names are chat regulars, whose names you might recognize. And, uh, we were hanging out, talking, Playing some video games and watching Game Center CX. It was pretty cool. We also had a lot of internet randos come in, which was not quite as cool. Since most of them didn't speak English and or wanted to show us their genitals. Where's Raccoon says, first item room, Kamikaze. Wow, it's pretty bad luck. Uh, welcome RazyL391. Galen Rayleigh says she is still working on Zelda. Yeah, or their URLs. One dude was spamming a stupid uh, YouTube video. I didn't even watch the whole thing. Supposedly it was like some kind of ATV. It had something to do with UFOs. I don't know. So uh, the next Google Hangout, which it looks will looks like it'll happen on Friday again, is going to be private, so we don't have so many randos. Popping in. Wow. I actually killed that thing pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, the next Google Hangout will be private ish. Uh, to join, all you have to do is add me on Google, and uh, I will add you to my circles. So when I do the Hangout, 
You will all be invited. I know, I know, it's another thing I'm asking you to add me on. In addition to Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Steam, and Formspring. But this one is really cool. Um, the Hangout will be a Super Mario Brothers race. And right now, we have myself, Moore's Draconis, and Just Drop as confirmed participants. And uh, anyone else who wants to join in is more than welcome. All you need is a Google Plus account, the plugin to let you connect to the Google Hangout, and an NES emulator, and the Super Mario Brothers ROM. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Roblox is 2, Darian Mask, Odd Yet Awesome, and Paradox Zero. Why do you have one heart if you're Isaac? This is the 9 live challenge. You start out with one heart, but you can be resurrected 9 times if you die. Yes, uh, this is Isaac, not Samson. Uh, I actually wait to go into this challenge room, because I'm going to have one heart no matter what. And I might as well wait and see if I pick up any kind of teleportation item or anything. Um, but yeah, add me on Google+. Plus. Uh, my name on the service is Duke Bumpington. Or you can just click the Google Plus link down below the video. And uh, you can participate in the race, or you can join in and watch. Now this isn't like any kind of official speedrun or anything. You know, none of us are trying to set any records. We're just trying to see which one of us sucks the least. And I believe up to nine people can participate in a hangout at, at a time. Um, but there's no limit to the number of people who can watch. Uh, Saya Chan, welcome to the stream. Where's Dracona says he will definitely win the race. Well, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, the original Super Mario Brothers is actually probably the one I'm the worst at because it's the one I've played the least. I can beat Mario 2 or um, Mario 3 pretty handily, but Mario 1, I'm not 100% confident about. I'm going to gamble a little bit, see if I can get a key to access this item room. Now, the one bad thing about Google Hangouts is that it has its propri proprietary screen sharing feature, and it doesn't work with any uh, any virtual webcam that I've tried. Um, and the, the built-in, the proprietary screen capture isn't great, it's kind of choppy. Um, like, much worse than if I was streaming on Twitch or whatever. But you know, the selling point of a hangout isn't the stream quality. It's getting to uh, hang out. You know, shoot the shit with me and Moors, yes. And some other cool people. So I would highly recommend adding me on Google+. Plus. I'll post uh, an official, well not official, but you know. I'll post a, a YouTube announcement at some point. Alright, this should be good. I'll hang on to what coins I have left. Ooh, money bag. Not bad. Sack of pennies. That makes money spawn more frequently. What are we racing at? Uh, Super Mario Brothers 1 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Not the, uh... Eh, yeah, that's worth picking up. Not the uh, Super Mario All-Stars version or anything like that. Good old-fashioned NES. And uh, the race will be in a Google Hangout. For those of you just joining. Don't worry, I'll post a YouTube video with all the details. But yeah, the last Hangout was pretty cool. We were watching uh, Game Center CX on YouTube. And uh, everyone else was playing random games while the uh, YouTube video was going. Except for me, because for some reason I couldn't get the, uh, the screen capture stuff working at the time. But I reinstalled the Google Plus, the uh, Google Hangout plugin, and it's working now. Now I'm hoping that uh, we're not all going to be equally good, because. Uh, if it's close, the choppiness of the stream might make it a little difficult to tell exactly who won. But, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that close. 
Oh yeah, I guess I'm doing more damage because of my uh, Cupid's arrow, and there's more of the uh, more of the enemy to actually hit. That's why I killed uh, Pin so easily. Uh, be a Mexican 968 to Minecrafter one and subscribe. Welcome to the stream. Do I have a multicolored dragon on my profile picture? It's actually like a psychedelic dog thing. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure what it is. I just saw it somewhere and I thought it was pretty cool. But yes, that is my avatar on Google Plus. <sighs> All right. Well, I took a little bit of damage in that challenge room, but um, but I got a soul heart back, so it wasn't that bad. I'd really like to get the habit, since it'll come in handy later if I find a rechargeable item, but uh, I don't have nearly enough money. So I'm just going to blow my last few pennies in the arcade. The penny arcade, if you will. LOL. Uh, alright, well, I'll blow you up. And I will blow you up. It'd be nice if you gave me like two dimes. Nah, of course not. Yeah, feel free to add more Draconis too. He's on he's on there as well. Blue candle plus battery equals game breaker. I've actually never gotten the blue candle yet. I've unlocked it, but I haven't picked it up. Hello, just drop. He will be one of the participants in the Mario race on Friday. We're shooting for 7 p.m. Like normal. And you know, Friday is the best day for me to do that kind of thing because I can actually stay up late since I don't have work the next day. So we'll probably hang out a little bit and shoot the shit afterwards since I doubt it'll take longer than a couple hours for all of us to beat Mario. Although you never know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Well, that didn't work out very well. Okay. So that's what? Two lives down? Somebody keep track for me. I have seven left. <sighs> Alright. So anyone else besides Moore's? Oh, good. It's an easier version of Monstro. Anyone else besides Moore's playing along with me? Cause you know that'd be a fun feature of uh, a future, a fun feature of future Google Hangouts as well. You know we can all play the Binding of Isaac, try to beat the same challenge, see who can beat it first. I think this is going to be a neat addition to the Duke of the Bump family of entertainment. Of course, you know I couldn't do it without more Strikeness and and viewers like you. You made this possible. Alright, well that went much better than the first attempt. Downloading a shit ton more Steam games I'll probably barely play. So, uh, I've been in the mood for rhythm games lately, and I'm not really sure why. Specifically, I've been in the mood to play Rock Band, but I don't have any of the instruments myself, so I can only play it when I go over to uh, Moore's in my aunt and uncle's house. So, uh, I've been digging around with a few uh, games. Uh, it actually it started when I got this game called Music Hero on Android. Which sounds like a complete, you know, rip-off, you know, shitty shovelware game. But it's actually not bad. Um, like Audio Surf, it can generate a track from any MP3 you decide to add to it. And, uh, and it's actually pretty good. Um, it's not as good as, as like a rock band or a guitar hero in, uh, in the actual timing. Now what I do really love about Music Hero is the controls, for whatever reason. Like, the mechanics and the interface are just really great on the touchscreen, which 
I never thought I'd be saying that, but there's just something about the way they do it. Like, um, there's this little tactile buzz every time you hit one of the notes, and, um, uh, there are only three rows in Music Hero, uh, unlike more sophisticated games, but, um, it's actually pretty entertaining. Uh, Sinister Toby, welcome to the stream. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, n now, the timing isn't, like I said, it's not great, and, you know, I'd rather play it on a larger screen. So I checked out this game on Steam called Rhythm Zone, and it's another Guitar Hero, uh, a rock band knockoff with, you know, the scrolling notes and, you know, you have to hit it at, a, at the exact right time. And, uh, it can also generate a track from any mp3 you import into it. And the timing on, uh, on Rhythm Zone is phenomenal. Like, it generates really accurate tracks, which, you know, I'm really surprised by. Um, and that one's $10 on Steam. And, uh, I'm still having trouble getting used to the controls. Um, you, 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 you can customize the controls, but the default, you can use A, S, D, and F, or you can use, uh, J, K, L, and, uh, semicolon, because there are four tracks, or four, uh, four rows on the screen. And, uh, it, it's not a very comfortable position for your wrist to be in for an extended period of time, but, uh, once I get used to it, it'll probably be better. Crack the Sky or Book of Revelations? Which one should I take? Oh, man, that's a no-brainer. I go with the book. I mean, Crack the Sky is okay, but... Man, especially if you're doing the 9 Live Challenge. Every, uh... Every Soul Heart you can get... Helps. Ah, damn it. I knew I shouldn't have stayed that close to him. Oh, I finally got Brimstone in one of my playthroughs the other day. Um, I sold my soul to the devil for it. Uh, Valley609, welcome. And yeah, uh, you guys were, were right, Brimstone is pretty awesome. I don't know if I'd sell my soul for it again, unless I had a ton of health. But uh, it is definitely worth picking up. So yeah, that's been my experimentation into rhythm games. Um, if there are any other good rhythm games for the PC, any of you can recommend, I'd be uh, I'd be happy to check it out. Duke, have I had Mom's knife? Yeah, I got it once, and uh, I wasn't too thrilled with it, honestly. Um, it felt like a handicap more than a helpful item. Uh, this is the uh, the Cyclops thing. It does a lot of damage, but it greatly reduces your shot speed. Yes, the full card teleports you to the starting room. I didn't really like this item before, but the last time I got it, it seemed to kind of work out, so I guess I'll go for it again. It's really worked really well against bosses particularly piercing oh yeah that's another uh, good point it is piercing which makes it that much better I mean it's already kind of piercing but uh, thanks to Cupid's arrow it is uh, it is doing a pretty good job of taking out these enemies I am glad I picked this up the piercing the full piercing is just the icing on the cake Okay, more health. Not going to argue with that. Uh, Kalash239, welcome. I know about a game that's still in development called Rush Brothers, where the levels adapt to the music you play on your MP3. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, Eyebrow78, welcome. I had no idea it would be so technical. The Binding of Isaac? 
Uh, I mean, it looks complicated because I've unlocked a ton of items and, uh, and I know what I'm doing. Um, if you're just coming into it, uh, it's, there's a lot less you have to worry about. Less dungeon types, uh, fewer items that you have to deal with. Um, another nine lives. Nine lives plus nine lives. Yeah, that, that was Guppy's head. It wasn't the nine lives item. item. And I don't, I'm not sure if that would work. I think if you got the nine lives item again, it would just take you back up to nine. I thought it was just going to be a very linear arcade game. Yeah, this game is definitely not linear. Ooh, Book of Belial. Or Book of Belial, as chat members have informed me it's pronounced. I don't know, I looked at the pronunciation on a... Uh, <laughs> nice. On a pretty reputable website. Oh, you know what I should do? Damn, I should have bombed my way into the item room. And the website said that it was called... Uh, the. It was pronounced Belial, so I don't know. Ooh, Anarchist Cookbook. I'd rather keep the Book of Belial. Belial piercing Polythemus. Yes, that is a, an excellent combination. Uh, Lord Tamar, welcome. Wow, your Isaac, no bad pills. Yeah, knock on wood. So far, so good. Damn. Alright, let's see if I can take these spiders out without waking them up. Looks like the uh, this room is designed very specifically so that uh, if you blow up those barrels in the proper order, you're not going to wake any of them up. Go back and grab the anarchist if I find something I need to bomb. Yeah, yeah, if there are any, uh, any X rocks on this level. I'll go and pick it up. This weapon is quite effective against those enemies. Duke, if I like games like Diablo, there's a game called Path of Exiles it's in beta, so you should try it and get it or spend $10 for it. Well, when it comes to games like Diablo, I'm kind of holding out for Torchlight 2. Um, I really like the original Torchlight, and Torchlight 2 looks like it's going to be more of the same, but better. So, uh, that's what I'm, uh, that's probably what I want to spend my money on when it comes to, uh, Diablo likes. And I guess I could go back and get the book, but, man, I'm way too lazy for that. The hell are you thinking? Of course, I swear I get... Spiders and red chests, 90% of the time. Now, if you want to buy it for me, then, uh, then I'll try it out and I'll stream it. That's the deal. Buy me a game, and if I'm technically capable of streaming it, then I shall. You know, not necessarily right away, you know, when I have a chance. But yeah, anytime you guys have a recommendation, just uh, spend a little bit of that green, you know? Put your money where your mouth is. And no, you can't suggest a free game. Send me a link to download it and say that's the same as buying it for me. I know you people. Damn, I have a pretty good bit of money. I'll buy you Tomes of Majael, it's free. Yep, I know. I knew it was coming. Old Duke wasn't born yesterday. I was born at least a week ago. Hmm, some health would be nice. Of course, now that I'm down to one heart, I can go into the bloody challenge room. I think I'll do that. Well, I'll, I'll at least see what's in there. Because the nice thing about this is you can see what the prize is before you... Uh... Now see, the problem here is that if I pick that up, it's going to spawn pills all around me. And it's going to make me very vulnerable for a few seconds. 
Wow, Moore's got Dr. Fetus. You know what? I have seven lives left. I'll go for it. Why the F not? And some of those pills might be pretty good. You never know. I just have to be careful not to pick them up. And, you know... Well, not pick them up. See? There I go. Okay, so that one is I found pills. Which doesn't do anything. It's just a uh, cosmetic change. Alright, let's try this one. Oh, telepills. That actually worked out pretty well. Dr. Fetus with homing bombs as well. Nice. I have a pretty good weapon spread so far. I might as well use this. Oh, it did affect me. Okay. And bad gas. Well, I was hoping for full health. Or health up. Or something along those lines. Uh, okay. I don't have anything else to spend money on at the moment, so... You are in luck, beggar man. Ooh. That was well worth spending three cents. You see, that's why you should always give money to charity. Because it might pay off. That's the lesson you should take from this game. Always be selfless if you think you can get something out of it. So saith the, the Duke. Should I get the Ouija board for one heart? I have three hearts. Uh, I probably would. The next time I'm in my mom's vagina, I'll be sure to pay any beggar I see. Says Just Drop. I'll just let that sink in for a moment. Oh god. What is this? I have not fought this before. It looks like a bad version of Widow. And I already don't like Widow. Wow, I was not expecting to see a new boss at this point in the game. Does that white stuff hurt me or does it just slow me down? I think it's just like webbing. Wow, I'm glad I killed what it just spit out, whatever that was. I think it was an egg sack. Damn it, would you die already? The Emperor teleports you to the boss room. A key. Nice. Soul heart. Nice. I found pills again. Might as well use it. A couple bombs. And the pearl. The pearl makes it more likely that you will find mom items in, uh, in gold chests. Why is it shooting out white stuff? Well, that's something you should ask your parents about, Private Steve. That's not a discussion you should have with Duke of the Bump. It said puberty, what does that do? And it's just a cosmetic effect. It makes hair sprout out of your head. And that's pretty much it. Alright. Well, that went pretty well. One moment, please. Valley 609 says you just made the ugliest character I've ever seen. Oh, you should see how bad it gets. Especially if you get Spirit of the Night. That makes you not very attractive at all. Basically gives you a vagina mouth. Well, okay, it's, it's a vertical mouth. But, you know. You know what it's reminiscent of. Uh, that is definitely better than the Book of Belial. Thank you. I will take it. 
spirit plus growth hormones is pretty hideous. Oh yeah, I imagine. You know, Spirit of the Night is another one of those items that I've only gotten once. I'm pretty sure you can only get it by selling your soul to Satan. And I usually err on the side of caution when it comes to that. Wow, how come these two brains are just sitting there? Oh, speaking of brains, um, John K. John Crickfalusi of Ren and Stimpy fame started a Kickstarter to fund a new cartoon. It will be uh, the George Licker Show featuring a beloved character from two episodes of Ren and Stimpy, George Licker. And uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I'm a huge fan of Ren and Stimpy, but uh, I'm not sure if John K is capable of producing a good cartoon working on his own. I mean, he's kind of a control freak and he doesn't really listen to other people's advice. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's what caused the reboot of Ren and Stimpy, the adult cartoon, to be absolutely horrible. He, uh, he has a singular vision and God damn it, he's not going to let anyone tell him how to do it. So yeah, I haven't donated to it. I'm, I might kick in a, a little bit. I haven't seen what the rewards are or anything. But I don't know. I mean, hopefully he will uh, fund his cartoon and he'll make something awesome and he'll prove me wrong. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. The poop! Man! That reminds me of a game the other day. The first three items I got in item rooms. The poop, the bean, kamikaze. Three of the worst items you can possibly get. I was pretty livid. I think I ended up keeping the bean. You know, now that I have the item, for this level, I might as well just teleport to the boss. Well, I do have a lot of money. I might as well find the item shop first. See if there's anything worthwhile I can buy. I mean, I think a lot of the episodes after John K left were some of the best. Because he left Ren and, Ren and Stimpy at like season 2. And you know, there were a lot of great people working on that show. It was not... I mean, John K created the cartoon, but uh... John K is kind of an auteur. Like, he is very passionate about good animation. And he's an excellent animator. And, you know, his knowledge and passion for animation is second to none, absolutely. But he doesn't really do anything else that well. I mean, he's not a great writer. Um, he's a great voice actor for Ren, but, uh, well, I guess, I guess the voice for George Licker is okay, too. Uh, the Flat Penny gives you more chances of finding keys when you pick up coins. Uh, Project Fumika, welcome to the to the stream. Watch the item shop have greed in it. Yeah, probably. But I have an ace in the hole. The Unicron. Wait, no, that's a Transformer, isn't it? I'm thinking of the Unicorn. Wait, was Unicron a Transformer? Or am I thinking of something else? Uh, Oxbow, what's up? I am now addicted to turntable. Thanks, Duke. No problem. You'll have to... Uh, oh, fuck. Am I going to be able to go into that room at all? Without getting blowed up? I don't think so. <sighs> no. 
That's where the item room tomb is. Item room is too, damn it. <sighs> that kinda sucks. Troll room, yes indeed. Use your horn, just take the hit. Uh, I don't wanna take a hit. Plus I'm gonna have to use like three bombs just to get through that room. I could use the unicorn, but I wanna save it for the boss. Eh, screw it. I'm just going to go to the boss. Oh, the Fallen. Wow. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Hopefully this boss will be a little easier since I can hit both of them at the same time now. Well, if they would cooperate and stay next to each other. Damn it. I still have seven lives left, right? That's pretty good. Actually, since I have seven lives, I can probably afford to be a, a little, uh, a little, well, I can afford to take some more risks. Is this, this yes, yeah, Spirit of the Night, sweet. That's the Spirit of the Night face I was, re I was referring to. I guess it's not as vaginal as I thought it was. Oh yeah, I can get past the bombs in that room now. Of course, I have four rooms I have to make my way through first. Uh, village killers, what is up? My dog. My main man. My ace in the hole. See, the coin bag plus the flat penny is a pretty good combination. Because it spawns more coins, so I have a better chance of getting more keys. Flying items are a lot more rare now than they were right after the update came out. So I have a tendency to forget that I have a, the ability to fly. Oh yeah, Spirit, Spirit of the Night also gives you spectral tears. So my tears now pierce through enemies and objects. I have to say, this is a pretty badass set of items. They work together very well. And I still have seven lives left. Whoa. A library? Ooh, wow. Book of Revelations or Unicorn Horn? That is a tough decision. I think I gotta go with the book, man. More health is always good. And the Unicorn Horn is nice, but my huge spectral piercing tears already do a, a pretty decent amount of damage. Man, I've got coins and keys falling out of orifices. All of them. Soul Stripe says he just entered a library when I did. Nice. Ha! No trolling shall be done today. Greed. Yep. I called it. I always get hit at least once by greed. Every single time. I just can't avoid it. I'm not sure how many orifices your Isaac still has. Well, I'm sure the Spirit of the Night added, like, at least three or four. Oh, wow. Knights, huh? I can only shoot you from the back, huh? Well, look at that. How'd that work out for you? There used to be a bug where you could just fly through the doors of challenge rooms, but uh, that's no longer a thing. Oh wait, that's not a challenge room, it's a pain room. Uh, let's see. There are hearts in here. Uh, that's a long way to go though. It's, it's probably just going to be a red chest with spiders in it. Eh, fuck it. It's not worth it. At least it wasn't super greed. Yes. Yes, I can always count my blessings there. Uh, Gary Dempsey, welcome to the stream. Oh, hey, there's a, uh, a thing here. 
Man, 37 coins, nothing to spend it on. Damnation. Seven sins, use it, then replace it. You know, I'm not even 100% sure, sure what seven sins does. I'm assuming it gives you something if you're telling me to use it and then replace it. Oh. Oh, it spawns a pickup. Not bad. Not bad. I have to say, I am pleased with the way the challenge is going so far. Knock on wood, throw salt over my shoulder, praise Jesus, Buddha, Satan, whoever's willing to help me out. This is a big dungeon. It looks much more intimidating when you see the whole dungeon at once like that. Oh, hi! What's the official name for these things? Bee Lickers? It's pretty funny that that's what he went with. I wonder if he, like, just looked at the wiki to see what the fans were calling them and then gave them names based on that. Because I'm pretty sure the Bee Licker thing came from the wiki. I wasn't here at the beginning. What challenge is this? Uh, this is uh, Nine Lives. It reduces you to one heart at the start of the game, but when you die, you can be resurrected nine times before you're fully and truly dead. Isaac looks like an angry woman back from work, ripped her hair out. Uh, I guess I can kind of see that, maybe. Mo money, mo keys. This is the only thing that I hate about Spectral Tears. Shit takes forever to kill. Uh, I don't want to lose my soul hearts to a pain room. Uh, Ultra Kirby 64, what's up? Yes, you start with the dead cat, exactly. As you can see it floating behind me there. Oh, these guys, huh? The guys with no projectiles who can't go through solid objects? quite a threatening room. Yeah, I am quaking in my boots. In my metaphorical boots, because my legs and my body is just a wisp of smoke. What's this background for the stream? Uh, it's a wallpaper by uh, a Chinese dude. Uh, it's The credits are down at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the stream info page. Oh, also, nobody commented on my uh, awesome new banner for my stream. The dog I took from a webcomic called Octopus Pie, which is really great. You should all go read it. And uh, and I hand lettered it myself on the Computron. The rest of it, not the dog. Well, the dog's speech bubble is from the comic too. But Duke of the Bump, I wrote that in there. Wow, these things are assholes. Look at how fast they are. I feel bad that I got hit there. I never get hit by those guys. Yeah, the background, I think the title of it is called uh, Concrete Nine or something. But there's a link down there. It was also my uh, desktop wallpaper for a while. Really, really cool artist. All of his stuff is great. Wow, three of these things? I don't think I've ever gotten a room with three of these before. That's crazy sauce. Uh, Private Steve, welcome back. And McGeck2, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being a friend. Luck down pill, Soul Scribe says. If you're having luck problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 pills, but luck down ain't one. I'm sorry, that's mean of me. Hey, a tarot card. Man, 
Man, look at all this money. Good lord. I think I want to hold on to it though. I don't really want to replace my flat penny. It's pretty good. The full card, a lot of people will just dismiss it entirely. But the one thing that it's good for is going into rooms like this. Oh. I did not take damage for some reason. And then instead of taking damage on the way out, you can just teleport out. Or you can use it in a challenge room and get the item without actually having to fight the challenge. It's pretty good stuff. I will uh, hold my money until I find the shop and see if uh, see if I want to go to the arcade or not. You entertain me, follow for you. Oh, thank you. That's quite nice of you. If any of you are new to the stream and you like what you see, uh, the best way to support me is by following me on Twitch or uh, subscribing on YouTube or following me on Twitter. Uh, you know, any, any of those. Wow, I do not I do not like this room. I don't like these things. I don't like what they do. I'm glad I'm flying though. If I wasn't flying, this room would be significantly more difficult. Wow, so much money. Or you can fast to his streams. He likes that support also. The uh, the opinions of Just Drop do not represent Duke of the Bump. Um, that is not an accurate representation of what I enjoy. Go to the go to the arcade room. I will, if there's nothing worth spending my hard-earned money on in the item shop. Actually, I'll probably still have money left over after that, so I'll probably still pay a visit to the arcade. Where's Raconis? I have 65 freaking coins and nothing to use them on. I know that feel, bro. Uh, Book of Shadows. When you use it, it gives you a shield temporarily. It's good, but it's not as good as the Book of Revelation. Finally unlocked Guppy's hairball. Cool. I'm personally not really that fond of that item. Um, it's one of those items that uh, you can never... I do not like this at all. You can never use Guppy's hairball. You can always just hope hope it happens to work out for you. Well that blew. I had 77 coins and nothing to use them on and then I got money equals power. Nice. I've only gotten that item once. I had a lot of money though so it was pretty cool. Uh, Midoriko, welcome to the stream. Man, I don't know if I want to go back in there. That was pretty rough. And it's the same thing. Wow. I think I'm going to, uh... Fuck! Yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with just one heart. <sighs> That's what? Four lives down? Gives me five left. Where's record on just one? Congratulations. This is the last level anyway, right? Wait, is this Necropolis 1 or 2? Oh fuck, seriously? It's uh, it's not telling me if it's 1 or 2. I think it's 2. It's the last level, okay. So I'm not going to worry about it anyway. I'm just going to blow, blow all my coins here and hope for the best. Steven lives. Question authority. You know, I think I'm going to blow you up and just uh, use the machine outside. Telepills. Well, that might come in handy. Hey, Poop Hat. It's not bad. Book of Shadows would have helped that blood bank. I didn't know it worked like that. 
If it doesn't say, then it's two. Well, that's good to know. I thought it always said, though. Nice. Wow, I almost walked right into that fly. That would not have been very clever. Uh, Nufi Vanga, welcome. Works even better with an IV bag, you can get like 30 uses. Honestly, I usually just don't bother with the blood makes. I don't know. I never feel like I have enough health to spare. Uh, ice Cream Cone 1001, what is up? I don't really know what I'm hoping for besides soul hearts. I mean, I guess I could try the blood bank and then keep coming back for more hearts. Uh, you want bomb? Welcome to the stream. Yes, I do want bomb, which is good because I have 13 of them. Lucky 13. Uh, Sears Kaku Demon. What's going on? Doo -ba -doo -doo -doo. Why don't I go to the boss? Well, I figure I might as well use this money on something since I have it. And this thing might give me pills that help, or soul hearts, or possibly some kind of item. I don't know. But yeah, right after I'm done here, then I will go to the boss. It's better than die again in the room with the two guys. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. And I have five five lives to be mom with. More telepills. Lame. More telepills. Lame. I guess I could uh, try and see if they teleport me past the room with the two headless horsemen. But that might not be good because then I'll be stuck there. I should definitely hit the blood machine now. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. In fact, I will go on ahead and do that now. And of course, this is going to take even longer now. But, that's, uh, it's kind of what you get with Binding of Isaac. The stream isn't always going to be 100% thrilling all the time. Uh, Nixil Umbreon, what is up? Welcome to my interblar web video stream chat extravaganza. For any of you not familiar with the game and you're wondering what the blood machine is, uh, it trades coins for hearts, but you also have a chance of getting uh, an item which perma permanently increases your health. So that's what I'm hoping for. You also have a chance of getting the portable blood bank, or the IV bag, which, uh, is not what I'm hoping for. Uh, Mr. Sinclair and Zep- Zepu. Zepo. Uh, Ze Zepu, welcome. If you run into a pill while using telepills, you will pick it up before you get teleported away. 
Oh, that's interesting. Maybe I should give that a try. Range up? Not better than nothing. Health up would have been even better. We are French bro. Oh well. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Duke. Je suis of the bump. Use the blood bank twice, it gives invisibility. Well, that doesn't sound real. In fact, that sounds extremely. Uh, that sounds extremely not true because I've used the blood bank several times. Well, three more hearts to use in the blood bank. Why the F not? I don't know why you would try to troll me like that, uh, 10 Minecraft or one. I thought we were friends. And yet you betray me like this. Why, oh why. It was a bug they fixed. I don't remember ever doing that. Hey! Oh, it was worth all that time after all. Alright, blow you up. And now I will try this telepill cheating thing. Oh, fuck! Maybe it would help if I hit the Q button instead of the E button. I am dumb. Alright, here goes. Well, it worked, but it just took me into the pain room. And I don't really want to take damage getting back out, so... There we go. Now see, that was a gamble too. It could have teleported me past the room with the two horsemen, but uh... Oh, fuck! But I took my chances. If you did something to yourself to bring yourself to zero hearts, you'd be invincible. Well, uh, I never experienced that, and I've been playing the game for a long time. <sighs> Let's see. Do I want any of this stuff? Don't want to use that. Might as well pick that up. I don't see what I'm going to do with it. Hello, anyone else here? Anyone here? Dumb question. Uh, yeah, Tivin is. There are 27 people in the chat room, including you and myself. And I'm here, Duke of the Bump. Uh, new, new, welcome. Sam had it happen a bunch while she was streaming. Huh. Huh? I don't know. Edmund has since, since fixed it. Alright, here we go. Final boss. Five, li five lives left. It all comes down to this. Isaac versus Mom. Flying, cycloptic, uh, poop hat Isaac versus Mom. That's the word, isn't it? Cyclop cycloptic, cyclopic. I like how you can kind of see my eyes through my eyelids when my eyes are closed. Like they're still glowing, even when I'm blinking. It's kind of cool. Oh. His mother 
with the desire to serve her god was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line. For Same Isaac ending as last time, so I just want to skip it. It's nothing you haven't seen before. We do have to sit through the creepy music, though. There's no skip button for that. Challenge in an hour, yes. I am awesome. Well, since it's only been an hour, I'm going to uh, try to beat the game completely with one of the characters I haven't done it with yet. Which uh, is a lot because I've only done it with Isaac and Kane. I did it in 45 minutes. Well, yeah, well, Moore's. I'm interacting with the chat room and I'm, uh. I'm taking my time. Being careful. Alright. Well, that was, uh, fun. I think I will try to beat the game with Maggie. She is probably my favorite character after uh, Kane and Isaac with the D20. Without the D20, she's my favorite character after Kane. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Just going for a normal playthrough this time. No, uh, no challenges or anything. You make me sad, Duke. Yeah, well, I don't like you. I'm sorry. Ooh. It's a pretty cool item to get right off the bat. It's not as good as the Umheart, though. The thing about Maggie is that she is a very, uh, cautious character to play. She's slow, she doesn't do a ton of damage, but she starts with more health, and she has a yum heart that she can use to heal herself. If you get a speed boost with her, she is great. If she gets no speed boost, she will get steamrolled by the fast enemies. Well, hopefully, uh, that won't be a problem. Mr. Boom. Just a reusable bomb. Nothing too awesome. I will keep the um heart, thank you very much. I suck with Eve. Yeah, me too. I mean, Eve's okay. She's better than, uh, than Judas. Honestly, Samson used to be my least fav favorite character, but they've improved him quite a bit since they first introduced him. I like getting the battery with Maggie. Yeah, that is pretty much uh, a guaranteed win if you can pull that off. Or the habit and the battery with Maggie. That's a guaranteed win. Is there any game that's good that's coming out soon? Uh, well, Torchlight 2 is coming out pretty soon. Um, it hasn't really been... There's no specific date, but it should be out hopefully before the end of the summer. Um, Retro City Rampage is coming out soon. I don't know exactly when, but uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I think that's it. That's all that I'm really interested in. It's coming out soon anyway. Of course, my taste in games is pretty, uh, pretty unique. Oh, you know what? Uh, Borderlands 2, end of September. Almost forgot. I think that game is going to be great. Because, uh, Borderland 1's was awesome when you play co-op, and in Borderlands 2, they got, uh, Anthony Birch on the writing staff, who I love from Destructoid and Hey Ash, What You Play In and the Hopcast. Duke has wine and cheese tastings during his streams. Uh, yeah. Taste some wine and cheese and tell me what you think. Alright, well so far so good. Now remember, I don't just have to beat Mom's Heart. 
I have to go through the womb, or rather, I don't just have to be mom, like in the challenges. I have to go through the womb, beat it lives, and beat the cathedral, which is no small task. I mean, really, Isaac sucks if you don't get a speed boost, too. But you usually end up finding something. I just noticed your banner, Duke. I like it. Well, thank you. Ah, damn. No key. Yeah, the other banner I thought looked kind of generic. Even though I had my, uh, my logo. It did not look spectacular. So I whipped that up. I used a program called Inkscape. Yeah, Inkscape to do the uh, the lettering, which is a really cool free vector gra vector graphics program. You can make some really smooth line art with it. Now obviously I'm not, you know, an artist or anything. I just I just wanted something that made lines smoother than MS Paint could make. But uh, if there are any artists in the stream, it's pretty nifty. I recommend trying it out. Of course, you probably already know about it, or you use Photoshop or some superior program. But for free, Inkscape is pretty damn nifty. The best price. Free 99. Orcs Must Die 2 released yesterday. Man, somebody on Steam was just going on and on about how much I have to try Orcs Must Die. But he couldn't give me a good reason why. I'm like, why do you think I would like this game? I mean, I've seen YouTube videos of it and it looks okay, but it doesn't really look like anything special. Now the trick to dealing with Envy is to take him out, go after the little pieces first. Don't break up big pieces before you have to. Now with some weapons that can make it kind of difficult, but uh, when you're just firing normal tears, uh, it's usually not a huge deal. But I mean if you get the Ipecac or something, that can make Envy more challenging to deal with. I don't know what the significance of the blue is. I don't know if that just means that chunk is faster or or what. I don't know if it's just like a harder version of Envy. Now if anything, you would think Envy should be green. <laughs> you know, green with Envy. Crickets. 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 That's my sound effect for cri crickets. I don't have a soundboard, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, kill the blue head last for a better drop. Oh, well, that would be the significance then. RPG Maker's taking a long time to verify. I'll try and make a game for you with it, Duke. Wow. Nobody's ever made me a game before. That would be a first. Sweet! That is an awesome item. All stats up, including health. Speed, shot speed, shot damage, all of it. Somebody did make me fan art once. It was back in the uh, Splatterhouse 2 days. I'm not sure if she still watches. Um, she went by the name Bloopy, but she made fan art of my uh, my chocolate zombie surprise cereal. It was pretty awesome. Uh, Jack Burton, welcome. I don't like Gertie Jr. one bit. 
I dislike him almost as much as I dislike his father. Possibly more. Luckily, he seems slower than usual. However, he is dropping nothing but the bad kind of blood flies. Damn it! His little charge thingy can be uh, kind of tough to dodge. Especially when there are other enemies on the screen you have to uh, take into account. You know, I like the fact that I get to do two playthroughs of Binding of Isaac in one stream. I think it's a good value for your money. Alright, well, that certainly could have gone worse. I'm pretty happy with the way that worked out. I think I've heard that name in WoW. A girl you said. Yeah. Um, B-L-O-O-O-P-I-E. I mean, I'm sure it's a pretty common nickname. Um, it's the name of the uh, the jellyfish thing in uh, in Mario, or the squid thing, I should say. Bloopy. <sighs> but yeah, uh, hers was spelled with I think it was either three O's or four O's. But yeah, it was pretty neat. I'll have to uh, link to it on the Facebook or something. Of course, it reminds me of Splatterhouse 2, which is something I don't want to ever have happen. But uh, but it's worth it to have some cool fan art. A missing page. You know, I'm not sure uh, what that does. If anyone wants to look it up on the wiki, then... Uh, I will be obliged. Wow, there's no way for me to get that dime. That's disappointing. Well, I guess I could. Man, I don't. I don't know if that would work or not. Try bombing it from the other side of. Oh, well, that did work. Well, that was pretty cool. I think that's my cousin's friend. Wow, that would be pretty. Uh, pretty crazy. Five percent chance of activating the Necronomicon when you get hit. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, Solskrive and I are playing the same game because we both entered the, the library at the same time and we both got the missing page at the same time. I think it would be awesome to have a hangout going where multiple people are playing uh, Binding of Isaac, though. We can all start with the same challenge or under the same conditions and uh, see how different people's games go. Of course, I mean, it won't look as good as the Twitch stream does, but, you know, you'll have multiple multiple streams to go back and forth between, so, I mean, I think it would be pretty awesome. Man, I am a health machine today. That's, that always seems to happen when I have Maggie. Not only do I start out with more health, and I have the Yum Heart, but I also seem to get really lucky when it comes to getting Soul Hearts and stuff, too and uh, other health boosting items. It would be sweet, I'd be up for it. Well cool, add me on Google Plus and uh, whenever I do a hangout you will automatically be invited. Damn, it's too close to the TNT barrel. You know, that doesn't really seem like a very safe way to store TNT in a wooden barrel. It doesn't seem very stable. And the best thing about the hangout is you can get on the mic and talk with your actual human voice instead of just being words on a screen of course if you're annoying I'm gonna have to ask you to leave 
But you guys are my fans, so none of you are annoying. Except for one of you. You know who you are. Ah, oh, man, I have to waste two bombs and a key to get whatever's in that. By the way, Inkscape is open source. Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. It's definitely, uh, the interface on it is just really well done. The other big open source uh, art program is GIMP. And if you've ever used GIMP, then Inkscape is a billion times easier to use than, than GIMP is. Uh, yes, my Google Plus name is Duke Bumpington. Since you have to use a quote unquote real name on Google Plus, which is the only thing I don't like about it, you can't. I can't just use Duke of the Bump because it's not, you know, it has to be a first name and a last name. Uh, but you can just uh, click on the link down at the bottom of the screen as well to add me on Google Plus. Damn it. Uh, the skull automatically teleports you out of the room if you get half a heart. It can be useful, I guess. In my experience, it's been more annoying than anything else. Uh, Ectophile, welcome. Weird, mine is my Twitter name. Well, what's your Twitter name? Is it like a first name and a last name? Because as, as long as it's two words, I'm pretty sure you can use whatever you want as your Google Plus name. I just can't use Duke of the Bump because that's four words. So, well, I guess I could have put of the bump all one word without any spaces, but that just seemed very uh, inelegant. So I went with Duke Bumpington, which sounds very classy. <laughs> Duke of the Bump. Yeah, I guess he could have gone with that, but nah, meh. I was kind of worried Google Plus wouldn't even allow me to use Duke Bumpington because it's not a quote unquote real name. I tried to make a Facebook account with the name Homer Simpson once, and they wouldn't let me. I was like, man, that's pretty fucked up. What if someone's name really is Homer Simpson? According to Facebook, you don't exist. I mean, it's possible. I had a bus driver in high school named Jimi Hendrix. Of course, it was J-I-M-M-Y-H-E-N-D-R-I-C-K-S. But, I mean, the fact remains, he was still Jimi Hendrix. Wow. Well, let's see if I can uh, kill these guys without uh, putting myself in danger. Uh, mostly. Wow, two item rooms side by side here. And I only have one key. Can't names in real life be more than two words long? Yeah, I guess that's a pretty good point. I don't know. Google's just a bunch of ass clowns. The virus, poison touch. Eh. It's okay. Alright. Just on the off chance, I can bomb my way into that item room. Nope. Okay. Duke, have I heard of DX Story? Yeah, I, uh, I bought a license for it way back, but I, uh, I haven't really used it much. It's a cool program. It's the best screen capturing software I've used, probably. It's just after I got it. I started doing streams more than LPs, so uh, I never really got much use out of it. Duke, there are some keys you can collect with bombs. Are there? Oh yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. I can't get that one. For some reason I thought there was no... there weren't any rocks in that room. Well, excellent. A uh, little Chad gives hearts. Once again, I am a healing machine. 
Alright, well, I guess there's no reason to, uh... Well, actually... Let me go see if I can get that other key. Because if so, I will check out the item room. Where I will invariably be fighting greed again. Yeah, I can get that one too. Awesome. I guess I just didn't want to waste the bombs at the time. But now that I actually have stuff to use the keys on, it is a good idea. Yep. Wow, super greed. Awesome game. Thanks. How did I know it would be greed? Because it's always greed. Wow, I do not like this one bit. I am not enjoying this. This is not fun, game. This is not fun at all. You need to take fun lessons. Because this is not it. Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. I'm going ahead and use my yum heart so I can recharge after this room. Wow, look at all that dough. That's a lot of shekels. And I have nothing to spend it on because there's no fucking item room on this level. Uh, Asian Mike Poe and welcome. How much is this game on Steam? Five dollars. And you can get the expansion for three dollars. So eight dollars total. And usually at least one of them is on sale. Alright, let me go back and uh, collect some of these hearts. And I'll just uh, go on ahead and go to the boss. I lost a lot of health in that room. Quite a bit. Hey, how come my poison touch never kicked in on any of those greed heads? I guess because they were just hitting me with projectiles. None of them ever actually touched me. Be right back, switching to go for a walk. Switching. I don't think you should walk while you watch the stream. That's not very safe. You might fall down a manhole. Yeah, there's the base game, Binding of Isaac, and then there's the expansion, Wrath of the Lamb. The base game is 5, and the Wrath of the Lamb is 3. Or if you're in England, uh, Binding of Isaac is 2 pounds, and Wrath of the Lamb is 99 cents. You know, this game actually got a, uh, a boxed retail release in England. It's pretty cool. It's the special edition. I think it's like 20 bucks or something, and it comes with like an art print and... Some other cool nifty things. Some stickers, I think. You can buy them on Amazon. I've been thinking about doing it. Just for the uh, extra stuff. Because I am a sucker for doodads. Did I say Steam? I meant Amazon. Or maybe I said Amazon, I'm not sure. tell you, between Steam and Amazon, that's pretty much all I need. Damn. Quit peeing everywhere. It's not polite. go back for a couple hearts. Uh, Richie Macau, welcome. Glad you could make it to the stream. I haven't seen you before, so let me introduce myself. My name's Duke of the Bump. I like playing video games. And this is one of them. It's called The Binding of Isaac. It is a 2D roguelike dungeon exploration game with lots of awesome items you can get. Lots of cool and disgusting bosses. 
and so on. It's five dollars on Steam. I suggest you pick it up. Wow, Peep is your least favorite boss? Really? If Peep is your least favorite do boss, then you probably never fought the Bloat. Which is really just a, a worse version of Peep. Or Daddy Longlegs. Daddy Longlegs is awful as well. I think those are my two least favorite bosses. Oh, interesting fact. If you kill uh, the Headless Horseman's head first, then, uh, then the item you get will be a pony. But if you kill the body first, then the item you get will be a meat cube. But I might have it backwards. I'm hoping I don't have it backwards because I would really like a pony. I know that's not a sexist stereotype because I'm a girl. I would like a pony in any situation in this game. It lets you fly, and you can hit space to charge at people. Oh, but that would mean giving up my heart. <sighs> the ability to fly is just too awesome. I can't give it up. I have not fought Daddy Longlegs yet. Also, this boss is a pain when you get him in the basement. Oh yeah, I mean, in the basement, Widow is probably the hardest boss you have to fight. And then after that, probably Peep. Alright, I will pick that up, and I will get out of here. No idea why you like the Yum Heart, because it's a free heart, like every three rooms. What's not to like about that? Uh, Necrolance, welcome. I mean, we can't all be elite like you and never get hit. I hit a lot. So, the Yum Heart helps. Especially if you get the habit, because it pretty much makes you invincible. That awkward moment when I almost died to Larry Jr. Wow. That's a tragedy. Oh god, I hate these things. These things are one of my least favorite regular enemies. Oh yeah, you can also charge at people with a pony like that. I don't like it though because every time I use it, I always end up getting hit. It's like it lets you charge through them, but they still, you still get hit for touching them, which is kind of fucked up. <sighs> I took a lot of damage in that room, man. Oh, apparently Necroland is popular. Oh no. Oh well, I'm flying, so this is less of a big deal. Be nice if there was a nice big pit in the middle of the room that I could just hang out in while I take pot shots at them. Or it would be nice if I had spectral tears and I could just shoot through these rocks. Man, things really seemed to uh, take a turn for the worse when I reached the necropolis. Hoping I can recover from this blunder. Alright, uh, the Empress. That's pretty cool. Oh, you guys are just buddies? That's cool. Duke, the special Binding of Isaac is the Binding of Isaac Unholy Edition and it's nine pounds. Yeah, that's it. That doesn't include the expansion though, right? Pretty sure that came out before the expansion did. I mean, nine pounds is still a pretty good deal, considering how much you get out of this game, or how much I get out of this game. It's really sad how many people play this game, die a couple times, and think that's all there is to it. Like I have one friend who uh, who didn't like the game because they said. It's just a Zelda clone with, uh, with Smash TV built in. Smash TV shooting. That's what they, that's all they thought it was. S what? Whoa. I was wondering what the fuck just hit me. Is that fire? 
was paying too much attention to the item. I've been blessed. What that means is when I get knocked down to half a heart, it gives me a soul heart, I think. Pretty sure that's what that does. I don't seem to be getting in any incoming chat. Yeah, someone else was complaining about that earlier. I'm not really sure what's going on. Somebody else said they couldn't see anything in the chat room. I blame Twitch. Man, there are too many enemies in the game now, based on greed. There's Greed himself, there's Super Greed, there's a Greed Heads, and there are these guys. What the f <sighs> It's like they said, hey, what's the one item Duke or one enemy Duke can't stay on more than any other? If I got the binding advice you can try to play it, I'd fail so hard. Yeah, but this is one of those games that you just kinda have to practice and get better at. I can still hear and see you, Duke, and apparently these messages are making it out, but I see nobody else's chat. Well, that really sucks. They're trying to tell us something in the game. Duke, humans are greedy. It's, uh, that's pretty deep. <sighs> Fuck, how am I down to two hearts? I had, like, 16 earlier. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Twitch does that to my chat a lot, too. Well, um, what I would recommend doing is downloading a chat client. Um, I use XChat for Windows, well, XChat 2 specifically, but you can also use uh, MIRC or, or any IRC client, and you can, uh, you can connect to the chat room that way. And I've never had an issue using, ah, oh, fuck, using XChat to connect. I don't think there's, well, except for that one day when, when it was just fucked up for everyone. But other than that, I don't think I've ever had any issues with it. Oh, Jesus. It's about time you spawn a heart. Little Chad. Do your job. You know what we need for you, Duke? An Ultra Agree just for you. Yeah. Yeah, that would really take the cake. Maybe it's because I'm not on Wi-Fi. Well, I, I don't see why that should matter. You can abuse your scapular here. Um, oh, do you mean on that, uh, on the spikes in here? You mean get hit by it over and over again and keep spawning soul hearts? Because if that works, I'll try it. Oh yeah, that's what Empress does. I always get Empress confused with the High Priestess for some reason. Just run into enemies now with HIV virus. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea because you only spawn one soul heart per room, right? So if I keep getting hit, now what I can do is keep using the blood bank and then leave the room and come back. That would work, right? Could you tell me how to connect by IRC, please? Um, yeah, hold on. Wait, are you leaving? Oh, here, I'll tell the chat, and if he comes back in, then, uh, then let him know. Uh, the server is... Hold on. Uh, the server is Duke of the Bump dot jtvirc.com and for the server password just use the password for whatever your login name is it has to be the server password not the nick serve password and then once you're connected join the channel uh hashtag duke of the bump just found crystal ball crystal ball is very good i don't think i've gotten that one but yeah if uh if you need that, uh, if you need more information. So you won Bond. Will, will this strategy actually work? Of using the blood bank? 
Okay, well, I didn't get a soul heart in that instance, so apparently not. Either I'm not 100% sure how the blood bank works, or they fixed that loophole. <sighs> do I go straight to the boss, or do I explore a little bit more first? That's because you hate fortune telling machines. I don't hate them. They're just always better stuff to put my money into. Fuck it. I just want to fight the boss. If I die, I die. The Mask of Infamy. This is actually kind of a crappy boss because you can't see how much health he has. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, like you, you don't have any information about him because he's hiding behind a mask, or if it's a bug of some kind. But either way, you, uh, I mean the first half of the boss is pretty simple. You just keep hitting the heart and the mask chases you, but he's easy enough to dodge. Once the heart's dead though, the mask hulks out. And you have to shoot him in the back of the head. Which is a pain in the ass, man, I'm telling you. I wish I had uh, technology or uh, piercing shots or something. I mean, your best bet is to try to hit him with bombs, but it didn't work out for me. Shit. It's actually a lot harder to hit in the back than any of the knights or anything, too. Because his movements are just so erratic. Ah, shit. Well, on the plus side, if I get hit again, it'll poison him and I will hopefully get a soul heart out of it. Yeah, I did get a soul heart. I don't know why I didn't get one at the blood bank. Apparently it just doesn't work that way. But if I lose this soul heart, I'm not going to get another one. Because I'm in the same room. It's just one per room. Oh my god, this boss is so annoying. Ugh! If I had my horsepower, I could do a little bit of damage to him that way. Jesus Christ. Fuck! <sighs> Lakers987, welcome to the chat room. Sorry I fucked up. Especially annoying with the magician. Well, I would have thought the magician would have made it easier to hit him. Because the shots were holding. I thought they would like. I don't know, circle around him and hit, hit him in the back or something. Try fighting that boss without speed upgrades. Yeah, that would be, uh, that would be a pain in the ass. I think scapular only works with enemies. Yeah, probably. You're probably right. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to call it here. Um, thanks for watching. This has been the Binding of Isaac, uh, the completion of Challenge 4. And the failure of Magdalene. Uh, I'm Duke of the Bump. The next stream will be Thursday. Uh, same time, 7pm. Uh, add me on Google Plus if you want to be invited to the next uh, Hangout. Which should be on Friday. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. <laughs>